Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm with M&M Garden Designs, and today we're going to give you a quick tip that's going to make your containers more cost-effective and easier to work with. What you need are some annual plants to put in your containers, which we have here. We've got some tulips and some pansies, some potting soil, some soil moist, and actually some packing peanuts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the packing peanuts and I'm going to put them in the bottom of the pot. There's no need to fill this entire pot with potting soil. You can see that right here our tulips are the deepest plant that we have. You can see in comparison how much soil you would need. All you need is enough soil to get to the bottom of the tallest pot that you have. So I'm going to fill my container with these peanuts and I put the peanuts in a plastic bag so that as the seasons go on from spring to summer and summer into fall, I can change out the container without making a really big mess. These packing peanuts in a bag keep your packing peanuts separate from your potting soil keeps your potting soil from getting all over the place. So I'm going to put these in the container. Okay, as you can see here, I put my packing peanuts inside the plastic bag and put the whole plastic bag inside this pot. And now all I'm going to do is fill the pot with soil and put my plants in. So I've got it filled with just a little bit of soil, not much. You can see it just covers all those packing peanuts. Then I'm going to take my annuals, in this case a tulip, and here's a great thing. This tulip is actually pot bound. Its roots are starting to go in a circular form around itself. So I'm just going to break these up with my nails and that will help stimulate some growth out of it. And then when the season is done and the tulips are done blooming, you can plant these in your yard and have them for next year. So I'm going to put the tulips in, and then I'm just going to take my pansies, and I'm going to surround my tulips with the pansies, and then I'm going to take the soil and fill in the cracks in between. Now I like my pots pretty full, so I'm going to fill this up pretty full, but you don't have to. If you prefer your pots not quite as full, you can leave a little bit of space. I'll put these together. Now I'm partially done. What I want to do is I want to take some of this that's called soil moist. This container's been kicking around for a while because it doesn't take a whole lot. And these are moisture management crystals that will actually act like a sponge and they swell to about five times their original size. So again, it doesn't take a whole lot. And what this is gonna do, you can see they're about the size of a large grain of sea salt. And what this is going to do is this is going to help act as a moisture manager for your plants so you don't have to water as much. When they're full of water, they're going to absorb all that water and they're going to swell. And as the plants need them, they're gradually going to draw away from them and take the water out of the crystals. Now only put a little bit in because what happens is if you put too much in, it will actually pop your plants right out of place. But it really does help so that you don't need to water as much. You can see that what I did there was probably not even a tablespoon and it will be plenty for this plant. But if you're like I am and you're busy and you don't have a lot of time to water, this is a great tool to help you be more water wise. And the great part about this pot is I say the front, but there really is no front or back. Because we're planting it in a circle with the tallest plant being the tulip that's in the middle, it looks great from any angle. You can see I've got a nice full pot and I've got quite a full, quite a variety. I do have one more empty space over here that I'm going to fill. And if you keep your, neat, your workspace neat while you're working, it makes cleanup that much quicker and that much easier. I want to take my plant tag out. And then I'm just going to take a handful of soil and carefully just fill in the gaps around the plants. And annual pots and annual plants in your garden are a great way to do what I call is celebrate the season. It's fun to change things out. I mean, you have your plants and your shrubs and your perennials that you have all the time, but there's a lot of fun seasonal annuals that you can put in your garden. And let's face it, it's late March and it's been kind of cold, so there's not a lot blooming right now. I'll take a little bit of color. I'm just pushing this down a little bit to make sure that it's all tucked in. You can see it's nice and full. 
I've gotten in between all the plants so there's not a lot of voids there. Just being careful to get in between all of them. And then I'll go ahead and give this a drink and you've got yourself a great spring seasonal pot. Have a great day and feel free to take a look at our whole portfolio at mmgardendesigns.com. Thanks for joining us.